evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. So ladies and gentlemen, as you log onto the line this evening, go ahead and drop it in the chat. Drop it in the chat. Let me know where you're calling in from. Along with those affirmations, drop it in the chat. Drop it in the chat where you're calling in from, along with those affirmations. Ladies and gentlemen, let me officially welcome each and every last one of you all to BYOB Market Talks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are definitely about to get this call started in just a moment. For those of you all joining us, my name is Tasha M. Dyer, the Trade Whisperer, creator of the BYOB Cash Out Strategy. And I want to officially welcome each and every last one of you all to BYOB Market Talk. So let's see, who do we have on the line today? I see Minnesota. Good evening. Good evening. Jacksonville. Good evening. Good evening, South Carolina. Good evening. Now, guys, I know, I know, I know it is more of you on the line than is in this chat. Good evening, Orlando. Tampa. Good evening. Good evening. Drop it in the chat where you're calling in from along with those affirmations. I see the UK on here. I see Jacksonville. I see Milwaukee. I see all of you do all from all over. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. There you go. Good evening. Good evening. So ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to log in, we definitely want to make sure we are doing our affirmations. We definitely want to be in the right mindset, mindset, mindset. 99% of your success is in your mindset. So that mindset, those mindset, mindset, I am an educated BYOB master trader anointed for wealth. I am the signal on my trades in and profit. I am 777. Now, you will know that 777 simply means that, right? 777 simply means that we have turned the market into our, yes, our personal ATM. I see you, UK, Birmingham. Hello, good evening. All right, so I am a BYOB average breaker. I am a billionaire. I am anointed and appointed for wealth. I see you all, I see you. So yes, 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 I see you all. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get this call started. We have a lot to cover tonight. I am excited, and as we begin to do that, right, I see you all logging in, California, right? I see all of you all now. For those of you all, if this is your first time here, your first time with us this evening, let me get a one, one, one in a chat. And if you are still learning how to cash out, let me get a two, two, two. And, 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 today, what did I tell you guys? What did I tell you this morning? What did I tell you this morning, right? What did I tell you? You got the LOL, because you already know where we're going. I told you guys that this was going to be a very, very, very profitable day. That today was going to be a day that you were going to be able to walk it out on purpose. Today was going to be a day that you were going to take from the market and as your personal ATM. And if you are still learning, you should have been in your demo account where you literally, I'm telling you guys, in that demo account, in that demo account, can I get a 777 if we walked in that? Let me get a 777 in a chat if we walked in that. Let me get a 777. If we took profit, 777. Oh, look, 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 look. We're not even a month in. I see your 777. Okay, okay, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get my screen shared together. And for those of you all who are new, I see your 111s. So, yes, I see your 111s. And so let me officially say welcome and welcome back. Welcome and welcome back. So for those of you all, let's see, let me, let me get this going. I got to get that screen share with everything going. Good evening. Good evening, Jacksonville. I see you guys. Okay, Jacksonville showing up tonight. All right. And I see you guys on LinkedIn. I see you guys on Facebook. I see you on YouTube. I see you guys as well. Okay, 777 times three. So let me explain to you how this call schedule goes. Good evening, Claremont. Let me explain to you how this call schedule goes, Okay. We do over 40 calls a month, all right? So um, let me officially welcome you all to be your own bank. We got quite a few one-on-ones that's chiming in. And I just officially want to make sure, you know, and welcome each and every last one of you all. Now, as we dive in the call schedule, right? The call schedule, okay? 
what the call schedule is, is we literally never start. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You never start your demo, your real account without going in a demo. So the call schedule is in the mornings. We are actually taking the information that we're learning in the evenings, right? In the mornings, we're implementing that. And tonight is your education. So we educate and implement. And so Monday through Thursday, right? Monday through Thursday at 5 a.m. and 9 a.m., we are walking you through analysis. We're walking you through the ability to be able to put in action and analyze the charts and the markets with what you've been educated on. And then of course, in the evenings, we are breaking it down. So Tuesday, we know is basics, where we start from the basics. And tonight is your tools analysis where you're going to learn the strategy while be cash out, but we're also going to walk you through the tools analysis and really help you understand it from a larger perspective. Now, just to recap, because I just wanna show you what we've done this week, okay? I see you guys still logging in. What we did this week, all right? And, and I just kinda wanna recap real quick, and then we're gonna dive into this, okay? So what you're seeing here, right? What you're seeing, What you're seeing right here is this was profit. This was nothing but profit, all right? So we marked this up this morning and this actually did exactly what we anticipated for it to do. So all of the trades that we set up this morning, GBP USD took profit, our Euro GBP, we took profit down to our take profit too. Our AUD USD, we took profit. As a matter of fact, from when this broke, that actually is up about 60 pips right there. Now our AUD CAD is still kind of hanging out around here, but it broke as we said it would. And you guys should see how it comes up, it retests and then it moves up. Now let's go to our URL USD, every single thing that we marked up, okay? This is it. And even this one, GBP CAD, it pulled up and it started hanging around around this trend line. So this is exactly what we were discussing. Now, our US 30, guys, you should have, right? Remember, this is your bonus account. We're not compounding this, but our US 30, our Dow Jones, I mean, this is just significant profit that we were able, you know, and I'm showing you what we did this week, right? So we caught that drop when it, when it fell. And then from down here, yes, it was running this morning. Absolutely, it was. So just think about it. If you were trading from this week, that right here, just at the lowest lot size, you're almost $900 because right, a dollar a point, we're almost $900 in profit just from that move right here. And of course, well, that's the US 30. I'm gonna actually pull this one over here. Now, when I look here, I got my NASDAQ, NASDAQ pulled up, my S&P, and I'm showing you this because tonight is the night we close the week out. Tonight is the night that we close out strong. And every single trade that we analyzed and took this week, we took profit. So you guys really should have an understanding right now why we emphasize, why we state, why we focus on you being an educated trader. That is why we focus so hard on that because an educated trader is a profitable trader. Now, what I want to do as we get started, because tonight we're going to talk be wild, be cash out strategy, but we're going to talk tools. All right. We're going to talk tools. OK, once again, we're going to talk about the tools. All right. And I really want you to understand that. So and I've been promising you this all week that we were going to discuss this tonight because we've had a focus on the vibrato. We've had a focus on our harmonic scanner and we've had a focus on a bounce back very recently. So I'm gonna take my time with this. And if we have to break it down into two calls, we will. So as we go through this, I want you to drop it in a chat, right? I need you to drop it in a chat. Any I apologize, I'm muted and didn't know it. So I want you to drop it in the chat, any questions, comments, or testimonies that you all might have as we go through this, because I wanna make sure that you have understanding, all right? So here, this is the Vibrata. Now the Vibrata is the, is the premier tool within the academy. 
This is the tool that we always utilize. Now, I want you to understand something about the vibrata. You need to go to this website, okay? We analyze on the vibrata, all right? I'm gonna say that again. We analyze on the vibrata. We take profit in our MetaTrader 4. So we analyze on the vibrata, we enter our trades on our MetaTrader 4. There are two ways to get to the vibrata, but before we do, I want you to understand why this is that premier tool. So here we are, IML Web Analyzer, okay? Now, this gentleman should look familiar. This is our visionary. So this tool is a premier tool within the company, the platform that we utilize, and he is actually the spokesperson. Now, this tool allows you to trade like the banks. It's very comparable and it's been vetted to what big banks of the world utilize. So as I'm gonna play this video, so you can understand, and you understand it as we dive into explaining all of the tools, you will understand why we always bring it back to the vibrata. So we always bring, no matter where we pull an analysis from or where we pull a trigger and alert or whatever we're pulling from, we always bring it back to the vibrata. So let me go ahead. It's just a minute. I'm gonna play this for you really quickly. Folks, I'm just absolutely amazed to know that I'm a part of an organization looking to empower and impact lives across the globe. I've been in this space for over 20 years, commercial banking, lending, and when I look at the web analyzer in comparison to what the big banks of the world utilize, that web analyzer is equivalent, far exceeds the expectation that I was anticipating after having that experience on the investment market. So folks, for those of you who don't understand the magnitude of what you have your hands on, I encourage you, I challenge you to take a deeper dive and realize that literally you have in your own hands to become your own bank and allow us to be a partner to empower you economically, financially, and leave a true legacy. So ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to understand the power behind what I'm sharing with you. So this is the vibrata. So this is the tool that we bring everything back to. Now, when you log into the vibrata, the biggest thing now on Tuesday night, Ms. Anderson, it goes through explaining exactly what each one of these are. The triggers, the, the time zones, the, I mean, everything, okay? Understanding what price is, I'm going to touch on a few things because I want you to understand the power behind the tool that you have in your hand as we begin to implement the other tools, okay? And we're going to take a strategy. I mean, not a strategy. We're going to take a currency pair, actually the one we're looking at right now. We're going to take that currency pair, and I'm going to show it to you from different angles. Now, in order to make sure you're on the correct platform, like we got the platform, but we need the right strategy. So IML Web Analyzer, all right? Here's a strategy, BYOB Cash Out. You have to click this box and make sure that you select BYOB Cash Out or it will look foreign. It will not look like what I'm looking at, okay? Now, understanding the vibrato, and I want you to understand, look at all these triggers for GBPUSD. Haha, <laughs> but that, if we have time, we'll come back to that one. But what I want you guys to really understand tonight is that no matter what time frame, let's get these time frames on here. No matter what time frame I'm looking at this from, no matter what perspective I'm looking at this from, what it what I'm seeing and what you're looking at, the reality is you're looking at the same exact spot. So I want you to think about uh, you sitting outside, or I want you to think about a, a car, right, that you've seen, whatever, just something in a location outside, something in a specific location. Now, if you look at it and you're standing next to it, you're going to be very close up on it. If I look at it from a satellite view, it's going to look like a dot if you can see it. If I look at it from an airplane, it's going to look a little bit different or if I'm standing on top of the roof. So the only thing is, is that when we utilize these time frames, we're looking at it from a different perspective, okay? I really need you to grasp that. I'm looking at the market from a different perspective. So my higher time frames, right? So I'm not trading on a minute, trading on a 15, trading on an hour. My higher time frames give me direction in the market, right? My higher time frames give me direction. 
my mid time frames is where I analyze. I start seeing more movement, right? So we've gone from a Google Earth perspective and now we're coming down. We're, we're drilling down through the hemisphere, right? We're pulling down. And then when I get to my lower time frames, is where I can see all the activity and is where I enter. So like I mentioned the car. So if you are in that car, then I cannot make a decision from a Google Earth viewpoint if I can turn into traffic. So I want you guys not to compartmentalize. I want you all to understand that it's the exact same spot, but I still have to be at the stop sign. I can't look three stop signs ahead and make a decision if I can make a right turn or not. I have to be up on the stop sign in order to see if I can make that turn. And that's what my lower time frames are. They're the time frames when I'm close, when I'm right in there, as far as being able to make that turn. Does that bring some clarity, guys? I know if you're new, this might be your first time on this call, but I just, you, as you stick with us, as you stick with us, you plug in, you win. It's just that simple. So the more you plug in and the more you stick with us, then what's going to happen is it will the, the light, it will become so clear. The market is your best friend. The market is your personal ATM. And that's what's going to happen. Ah, I, I got to pause for a testimony. I see 100% profit week. So I salute. Congratulations. You guys know I love testimonies. 100% profit this week. So now, as we're looking at this, okay, as we're looking at this chart, so now we understand my higher time frames takes precedence because that's just like the head of the household, right? The mother, the father, my higher time, my higher time frames, they take precedence. So this is the vibrata. Now, I'm going to pull this in just a little bit because I want you to understand what the vibrata does. Now, NZD USD and the market loves us tonight. It loves us. Because I got a trigger on every tool. Before I dive into that, let's let's talk tools. All right. So when we log into I am dot center, right? You're gonna have access to all of these. Now remember, I told you we're diving deep into each one. I just want to take the time and walk through. And I do this strategically in a certain way because I want you to grasp it and understand it. Because we're always on a vibrato. The vibrata, we're always on the vibrata. The vibrata is what we bring everything back to. That's why I showed you the power of this tool. I showed you the video of our visionary. You know, the cash out is housed inside of there, right? It's the premier tool. And so, but you can also access the vibrata through here. All of the tools are accessed. However, there is a separate website where you can access it as well. Now, harmonics. I like harmonics, right? When I pull up the harmonic scanner, has to bounce back. And of course, I need to log back in. So if I pull up the harmonic scanner, right? Let's see, does it pull up? Let me see, is it gonna let me log in? Yay. All right, so here we go. If I pull up the harmonic scanner, what you're gonna see is harmonic patterns identified. All right, that's what you're gonna see. Now in the academy, it tells you and it walks you through and it shows you how to identify harmonic patterns, right? It tells you how to do these calculations where you get all of this. However, we have a tool and we have a tool that allows you to, to kind of see where the market has identified harmonic patterns. Now, a little bit about harmonic patterns is harmonic patterns take place around major support and resistance lines, those psychological levels, because that's typically where reversals happens. A harmonic scanner, a harmonic pattern is a reversal pattern, okay? So that's what this is identifying, all right? And then of course we have the bounce back. The bounce back is doing the same thing. As you can see, the same currency triggered, but this is actually looking for trends. So each tool is analyzing the same market, is just doing the same space, the same place, is just looking and identifying different things. They're programmed a little different to identify different things. So as we look at this, what the vibrata does is you consistently get these triggers that come through. And when these triggers come through, you notice that in like in the academy, you're gonna learn the Elliott wave, you're gonna learn the patterns. But for for you know, just for training purposes and understanding, you do have that impulse 
right? When a market starts a trend, a market does three things. The market goes up, the market goes down, the market goes sideways. I'm going to say it again. The market goes up, the market goes down, the market goes sideways. Now, this is a real price, okay? This is a real price. If I was actually exchanging currency, right, buying currency, this is NZD and this is USD, right? So this is how much it would take for me to purchase in US dollar, how much it would take for me to buy a New Zealand dollar, right? That is what the price is. This is a real price. We're looking at a real market. We're looking at real transactions. We're looking at real things that are taking place. So this is what it would take for me to buy that. So that is a real price. So no matter what tool I'm using, it does not change that this is the current currency exchange price. If you are traveling, this is what you would have per, for every New Zealand dollar. This is what you would need as far as the U.S. dollar. But we're not traveling. The only traveling we're doing is we're riding the wave of the market. So we don't actually physically purchase anything. We're going to profit on movement, okay? So yes, these are real buyers. These are real sellers. They're real buyers. They're real sellers. There are more buyers in the market if the market's buying. It's more sellers in the market if the market's selling. But now you're even looking at this from a different perspective. Let's bring you up a level, right, where now you're on the other side of money. You're on the side where the bankers live. You're on the side where the financial advisors live. You're on the side where the people who understand money live. And so where they live is understanding that they don't have to physically buy anything the way we're typically taught. They understand that they can profit on movement. And that's what we're doing. We're profiting on the movement. Remember, I used to do this for the army. Like, this is what I did when I first enlisted. So I just want you guys to understand that, okay? Now, so knowing that we're looking at real price, we're looking at real this, right? Real, real price, real activity. What happens is, is now the vibrata triggers, right? In the market, we have something called support and resistance lines. We train in great detail on that. So if I'm putting my support and resistance lines on there, all right, I'm about to help you guys see how these tools work together, all right? They do work together. So yes, we are on the other side. Let's say amen, say it again. So, right, so what I'm doing is I'm just dropping some lines when I'm not analyzing anything at the current moment. I just want you to see how the market reacts around support and resistance lines. As you go through the training, as you begin to understand, right, actually, let's put this one. This one is a psychological level. So let me do my coordinates, psychological levels. Did we go back and watch that like we talked about? Psychological levels are the more zeros, the more activity around it the stronger it is for the market to have to try to attempt to break through why is that because humans people like us are the ones making these financial decisions if you ever sat with your financial advisor and was like hey i want to place a buy your buy might be at 72 cent but he's going to put it in for 70 your buy might be at 150 dollars he's going to put it in at $150, right? The midpoint. If it's at $140, he's going to put it in at $150. We always tend to round. We round. So, and, and the more zeros we have, the more zeros that you have as far as, you know, like it's, it's not $1.81, it's $2, right? So we round things. That's just a human psychology that we've been taught since we were a child. So my psychological levels in the market, I don't analyze anything. I understand and respect the fact that they're there because they help me identify where the market has a strong reversal. Look at all the consolidation and activity that's happening around that. Look at all the consolidation and activity that's happening around that. So that's what a psych level is. Now, what the vibrata does, and I know I'm on a higher time frame, what the vibrata does is it triggers. It triggers. So every single time, impulse, correction, right? The market is not just going to go in a straight line, okay? We know we're in a downward momentum. We're in, life doesn't go in a straight line. So if my life doesn't go in a straight line, why would the market go in a straight line, right? So if I'm sitting here, right, the market is in a downward momentum right here. So knowing that, it's still going to have a correction, right? Life gets corrections. Impulse, correction, continuation, correction, continuation correction, right? Continuation. So knowing that that is what's happening in the market, 
knowing that that is what it's doing, then what happens is the vibrata is programmed to trigger at these points. So it's never wrong. It's never called in the opposite direction. It's I like helping you identify that, hey, it triggers like if we were selling, this would trigger for a sale right here when this was buying. So it doesn't matter what time frame I'm on right now before you guys get real deep down and say, hey, but we're on our does not I'm, I'm trying to just get you to see the big picture right now. So this is where it would trigger. It will pull around and it will come up. And then of course, when it pulls down, it will turn around like we would get this trigger in the correction, all right? That's what the vibrata does. So yes, sometimes it does trigger when we're right here, down here. And you're like, well, I can't sell right here because this is not a signal. It's identifying if this, then that. It's identifying those points within the market. That's what it's doing. So now knowing that, right? We get a lot of triggers on my lower time frame. Why is that? Because when I drill down, right? When I drill down, what I see is more candles. I see more activity. I'm right up on it. I'm close to it. So we're going to get triggers on the lower time frames because this is where all the activity happens. I mean, every five minutes I get a, I get a trigger. Every five minutes I get a new candle. Every five minutes, every five minutes there's something else moving. So that's why we get so many triggers on the lower time frame. It doesn't mean that I get to dive in it right now. That just means that that's why I get so many triggers on that right there. All right, any questions, comments, or testimonies thus far? Questions, comments, or testimonies? All right, I know the chat takes a while to come in sometimes. All right, so now I'm what I'm gonna do is because I had, I'm gonna see if there's a new one. I don't think there will be a new one coming through here. All right, now we also had on the, I'm not going to pull the tools back, okay? Well, yes, I am. Let me go back. So now here, now you should understand why in the morning, okay, why in the mornings I pull 90%, 99% of our harmonic scanner trades are pulled from the hour. So we'll dive, we, like I said, we might have to do this two weeks because on my lower time frames, I got a I got a market structure inside of the big picture of the market structure. So every time frame is going to have some market structure. That's why we can get harmonic patterns on my lower time frames. So even here, right? So whether I'm, and I, I think I'll pull this one from the 30 that cause it's right here, but I still want you to understand. I mean, it's another one down here, but that one's already played out. So it doesn't matter. You have different brokers that feed into this, which is okay. We have, um, what I please say again, why there are more triggers on a lower time frame? Absolutely. So my higher time frame in a four hour candle, I don't get a, I get a candle every four hours. So when I, let me come back here because I want you guys to understand this. All right, so I'm gonna come to my four hour, okay? And I'm gonna paint this picture for you. So in this candle, let's, let's do it this way. And this one particular candle, it's gonna, now you know it's gonna overlap a little bit because it won't allow you to just like circle the candle. So right here is my four hour candle. I have one candle, just one candle for four hours. When I drop down, I now have four candles, right? In my hour, I have four candles. So every four hours I get a new candle. So now you see a lot more activity than you did on a four hour, right? And as I continue to drop down, you'll continue to see activity. Now, remember, we're looking at one green, one green candle that's buying. I'm looking at one candle that's buying right now on my four hour. But now you see I have pullback as this candle began, right? And then when I drop down, look at all the activity. You see this? Now I see what's happening around this support and resistance line. I couldn't see that on the four hour. That was my Google Earth view. So now as I'm coming down, Right here, I'm standing on top of the roof, right? I'm looking at that car from on top of the roof. But when I get down and I'm right up on the car, right? I'm opening the door with my keys, right? I'm on the car. I can see, you can see all the scratches. You can see, the, are the windows clean? You can see what's on the seats. You can see everything. So that's where my triggers happen, right? You can see if the kids have got their feet on the seat. You can see everything. But I can't see all of that from higher up. So now when I'm down here on my lower time frames, I have so much more activity happening. I'm right up on it. 
I'm right up on the, the support and resistance line. You, I get a candle every five minutes. So now, right now, that's where my triggers happen. So all of this was one four hour candle. But now look at all the activity that's happening within that four hours. So, so much has transpired and so much has happened in that four hour window, right? So that's what you're seeing. Oh, awesome, great. You said that's a good analogy. I'm glad, I'm glad. So now when I come over here on my higher time frame, because that's where my direction comes from, I have a harmonic pattern, okay? So we come here and the ones at the top are newer, the ones at the bottom are more played out. They, it's been a while. So the ones that don't play out, they fall off. Once again, another reason why I wanna bring it back to the vibrato, okay? That's another reason. If you ever see anybody, where are my, where are my things at? If you ever see anybody trying to trade it on here, stop, do not pass go. We do not take shortcuts. Life does not allow shortcuts. We don't take shortcuts. We will not do shortcuts. Somebody's trying to shortcut the system. And if you shortcut, remember, what did we discuss this morning? My leading indicator is the skill set. My lagging indicator is the money. My leading indicator, which we'll talk indicators in just a moment, but leading a skill set, lagging is money. When you lead with skill set, the money's right behind it, right? When you lead with the skill set, if you chase the money, you'll never catch it. If you chase the skill set, the money's going to come. It has no choice. It's going to follow you, all right? Now, when I come to the bounce back, now you don't get as many of these in the evening, okay? I do not get as many bounce backs in the evening. Now, bounce, because there's so much more activity in the morning session, in the London, in the morning, there's a lot more activity. And so knowing that there is so much more activity in the London session, there's so much more activity, right? The U.S. market is the most dominant market, okay? My U.S. market is my most dominant market. However, the um because that's my safe haven currency so that if you look up major currency pairs as you go to the academy guess what's in the major currency pairs the u.s dollar when i go to the um when i look at gbp it actually has the most liquidity that is why there's so much activity and so much happening in the mornings right so that is why we get up so early and get on the calls because that is where the most liquidity there is activity happening now but that's the Asia session, right? The Sydney session. And so in those sessions, they don't have as much liquidity, but they're open right now. And so just understand, but it's still great times to take trades. You just have to understand that because there's so much more happening, then that's when these trigger. You notice we did get one an hour, three hours, but you notice then we start talking about 13 and 15 and 18, right? So it's so much more triggers that happen in the morning. And that is why. So now, when I come over here, let's get back to, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna come up on my hour. So I already know I have a trigger and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to change the colors. I'm gonna delete all of this. I'm gonna leave my psych level. We know my site, what are our psych levels? Our psych levels are in blue, right? For consistency purposes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the take profits right from the harmonic scanner now remember those take profits are not like where you just blindly take it you're an educated trader is a profitable trader so i'm gonna walk you through this trade from all of our perspectives right i'm gonna walk you through there so here we go seven five i'm almost on top of it so let's put these take profits on here we're going to sell the market now understand you're not physically selling anything what you are is you're going to profit on the movement because what we what we're doing is determining we're we're looking at the market and we're saying you know what is the market going to buy or is the market going to sell who's stronger are the buyers stronger or do they have market have more sellers right is it more buyers or is it more sellers in the market and when we make that decision that's how we make our money we don't care what it does like everybody was crying at the beginning of the week oh my gosh the dow dropped the dow the dow was down first it was down the lowest that it's been since early this year then it was 2020 then it was 2018 and they were spazzing out on bloomberg and we were like what's my take profit money 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 right in that that song <laughs> money 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 so because you understand that we profit on movement it will go up down or sideways it does not matter now these are the take profits that were identified these are based on fibonacci levels 
Now, let me ask you guys that's been hanging out with me for just in a little while, like any amount of time, you know, even if it's in a week, would I take profit be below this psych level or not? Yes, it's a pop quiz. It's a pop quiz and training. Y'all used to hate when you get those. There we go. I got one answer. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? I got two answers. Oh, I got a capital N. Oh, capital no, right? You would take it below? Would, the question is, is would you take? So this blue line is my psych level. This is the take profit. We're set. This is a sale. We're looking at a sale, right? So now remember, we're looking at live market right now. I'm going to walk you through the strategy. I know we look at historical for the. So if I'm looking at this and I put the take profits below it, that would be what? That would be what? Come on, educated, be well, be master traders, anointed and appointed for wealth. So when I, and, and I, this is why I ask, this is why I ask you guys the questions, right? Yes, definitely a sale. Yes, we don't want to dip for pills, right? I love that. So no, we're not, I got no, no, no coming from everywhere. So we would not want our take profit to be below the psych level, right? It's not a guarantee it's going to do that. That's what we call dipping for pips, right? We don't do that. We're not gambling under any circumstances. We're taking trades based off the, the fact that everything is in alignment. And what we also know, that's why I started with this, that this is a psychological level, which is a strong level in the market. And that's what we just talked about. So if this is 70, let's just say 70 cent, right? Let's just say 70, no, let's just say $70. Like, let's just make it easy, $70. If it's right here at $70, and I, am I gonna go to $72 or am I going to, oh, um, no, that's fine. But you stated that you say you misunderstood the question. But somebody thinks that I talk to a lot of people and I'm like, they'd be like, why did my trade turn around? Why didn't it take to take profit? These take profits are these take profits are based on Fibonacci levels, right? On Fibonacci calculations. There was no cal there was no analysis done other than off of that harmonic scanner, off of that harmonic pattern. Those are the fib levels, right? The percentage levels, right? That they take profit. So here. I would never do a take profit below, right? If I'm selling, I'm never going to do a take profit below my psych level because the market movers, the ones who make the decisions in the market, they round, they round, right? They round. So we know that. So we know our take profit would be here. And guys, we're looking at some live information too. So I want you to know that hey, you might make some money off a of training call. All right. So let's look at our four hour. And you see where our four hour is beginning to line up. And I'm gonna come through here and analyze this. No zone to zone, strong area resistance could turn around, wait for it to pull. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother with it because we'd be dipping for pips. I wouldn't even bother trying to take a profit past this point. My take profit would be probably right a little bit above that psych level. Because you know, it's, it's a lot of orders that take place around those levels. So my, honestly, my take profit would not be on the line. It would be a little bit above the line. That's where my take profit would be, right? This is where I would put mine, all right? So now let's talk bounce back because the bounce back triggered as well. So we have our harmonic scanner lined up, right? So through all three of these tools triggered on the same on the same one. Now, the, the bounce back triggered on the hour as well. So if I look at this, right? If I look at this, you say, yes, you agree. Yeah, yes, yay. Yeah. Now, if I look at this, Let's look at this trend, all right? Let me make it a little bit darker, all right? Uh, not darker, let me change the color a little bit. Let's make it a little bit thicker and change the color. So now this is what we call trends. So as I'm looking in the market, I can have, if I come back over here, remember one, two, one through, pull it through, right? One through, pull it through. So one, two, what did I say the first time? I can't remember, one, two, follow through, one, two, pull it through. So you're just looking at that. So you notice that this came up. This is a trend. You need two touches, two touches. One, two, right? Pull it through. One, two. Some of them are going to look like this, where we never really had a, this was a nice, strong up movement. We never really had a correction. And so what the bounce back does, 
is it also gives you a um it also gives you a trigger price so let's put the trigger price on there. I'm going to change the color so we know we're looking at a different tool. So I'm showing you how all of the tools, the three that we're talking about right now, I'm showing you how all of the tools are actually analyzing the exact same, the exact same spot in the market. Powerful, right? Powerful. Y'all going to make a lot of money next week, aren't you? Mm-hmm. All right, so this is where the bounce back trigger. So we see the trend line, right? We see the trend line, and then we see the bounce back cut a trigger price right here, and you see now where it's beginning to pull down already, right? So this is where the bounce back. I have take profits from the harmonic scanner. My bounce back says I should break this trend and sell from right here. Now, let us also put, I got to look, yes, 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 yes. All right, I want another color. Let's do purple. I'm going to thicken purple so y'all can see it. It's a darker color. So, but I'm going to put this on here and let's put where the vibrata caught that as well. All three of them put the same, right? All three of them. So now look how these two are almost on top of each other, right? Look how these two are almost on top of each other. So purple is my vibrata. Orange is my bounce back. And actually, what I did not do, which, let me see if I can get it. Because I never give you those entry prices. I'm just trying to show you something tonight. Because we analyze it. We don't blindly take it, right? But I'm trying to paint a picture. We work with my masterpiece. And this one actually has two tricks two entries identified y'all gonna be like y'all gonna be so ready for monday morning i'm telling you i'm gonna make this one yellow too though but i'm gonna thin it out because it came from there so i'm gonna make it real thin so as we look at this one we got a 707 i mean i'm sorry 70991 because this one had to take profits so that was way up there so it's so sometimes it's potential that it could come up there and then we had this one at 70761. Now look at that. Voila. Now what? <laughs> now look at that. So you got the harmonic scanner, you have the vibrato, and you have the bounce back all triggering around the same area for the same currency saying take a sale. What is that? Do you guys see how all of the tools are just identifying something different in the market, but it's the same area that it's analyzing? So they're all just identifying something different. One is identifying, one is identifying corrections, right? One is identifying those corrections. The other is identifying the trend where the trend should shift. And the other is identifying a harmonic pattern. And in the midst of all that identification, I got the same area right up in here telling me to take a sale. All three of them identifying three different things, but you see I'm on the same market and they all are saying to speak in the same language that a shift is happening in the market. So here I am, my vibrata said, there is a correction happening. We need to look at a sale. My harmonic scanner said, there is a, there is a harmonic pattern which identifies reversal patterns. I need to take a sale. And then, of course, there is my bounce back that, oh, there's a trend shift. I need to take a sale. Questions, comments, and testimonies before I walk you through the BYOB cash out strategy on top of this. Questions, comments, testimonies. The question is, will this be on the YouTube channel? It is on there as we speak. It is streaming on there. You are watching it on the YouTube channel. So yes, the live stream will still be available. <laughs> Come on with your masterpiece. This is go. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's bring you some clarity. Clarity. Clear as day. Clear as day. Ah, oh, there you go. Look at there. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. All right. So now knowing that, Okay. Oh, thank you. You are the best. I thank you. I thank you. So now as we look at this, um, as we look, right? So here we go. 
Yes, more and more every time. I love that. So now let's talk about it because here we are, right? My higher time frames, my higher time frames, give me direction. My mid time frames, right? Ah, you and a trader did a similar setup. Come on through, master trader. My mid, that's why an educated trader is a profitable trader. I'm telling you right now. My mid time frames is where I analyze. My lower time frames is where I enter. All right. So here we go. My hour. Now, what is a BYOB cash out strategy? Let's go over that really quickly. All right. So I, I, um, I'm going to drop down to the 15 and I'm going to show you on a historical trade that we know has already played out. So let's look at this buy that took place. Right. Let's look at this buy. So blue line cross over the red and an upward or downward momentum around the 20 or the 80. Now, once again, for a newbie, for my new people, my newbie wild beers, right? You're always gonna start around the 15. You're always gonna start there because it's gonna help you, right? Mid time frames is where we analyze. So blue line cross over the red and an upward momentum. Then I have a green candle with a flat bottom. That's what I'm looking for. So I have my three indicators and my piece are that flips to the bottom. So blue line cross over the red, we really got it, but it, nothing else transpired. So it started right around here. So I got my three indicators, okay? My three indicators, three simple indicators. One, two, three, right there. Why? You guys see me change this every day, right? Like, why is it keep doing that? So here we go. We don't want blue. So now, here we go. So that's my indicator. So now that's this simple. My leading indicator is my stochastic. My leading indicator is my skill set. My lagging indicators are my Hikinashi candles and my PSAR. My lagging indicator is the money. Skill set, then comes money. Stochastic, then comes PSAR and Hikinashi candles, right? So these are my lagging. Now what I want to do is what's called time frame confluence. I go up to my hour. When I come up to my hour, you see how this is beginning to curve up. And you can also see right here where I have this green candle. We also see the rejection that's happening around there. We already know we're around that psych level. So we already knew that this was dipping for pips anyway. So we see that, so I definitely have it. Now, when I drop down, I'm dropping down for tight entry, right? I'm dropping down for my entry point, right? I'm dropping down and it should still be buying because that's where that momentum starts first on my lower time frames. So now what do I do? Based on your personal trade plan, 10 pips and cash out, or trade to the first support and resistance line. Anything that you trade higher than that, you must understand the dynamics of the market structure. So it's 10 pips and cash out or trade to your very, very first support and resistance line, all right? That's what we do. So now let's come back over here to our live trade, okay? And so what do we see? I see a blue line, it's the same. Blue line cross over the red and a downward momentum. I have a red candle, right? So we see this alignment. Now, when I'm on my higher time frame, I have to like higher time frame, higher time frame, higher time frame. On my higher time frame, I have to have something that's giving me some indication, right? Remember, this is an hour, it's not 15 minutes. So we're gonna dig a little bit deeper because this is how you determine, okay, my okay, let me say it right. This is how I determine if I can take those trades longer, right? This is how I determine if I could be in the trades and, and where that momentum is shifted and, and if I want to let it ride out. Or it's also how I determine, uh, hey, I'm not trading past this point, right? We, we talked about that this earlier this week. I mean, in the morning calls. We're not, this is not, we're not doing that, right? We are like down here. I would understand and I'm not taking a sale right here anymore. So you, no matter how you trade or what your personal trading style is, you the president of the Super Snipers Club, which means you just, you snipe in the market, you in and out. Or if you are trading the options or the binary options, or if you are letting it ride in your swing trade, you still need to know where the market is. We still need to know. So now here we are, right? Nice alignment. When I look at my four hour, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. And that's a cough, cough, hint, cough, cough, hint, hint, right? Don't get in a trade at the moment, but that's a cough, cough, hint, hint, because you guys are not going to see me again until Monday. So just cough, cough, hint, hint, okay? So now 
we see that this has some rejection. Why do it do these dark colors for me? Let's make them a little bit lighter. All right. So now you see the rejection is happening right here. So now you see my blue line. Look at my stochastic. Now my four hour is what? Where I get direction. My higher time frames is where I get direction. So knowing that, look at this setup. Look what's going to come. Look what's going to happen. And then, of course, as I drill down, you can see how we're not breaking above that. But we have to wait for this correction on my mid time frames to come around. We know how we taken that other one, like this is where you guys start on the 15 minute chart. So this is what I mean. 10 pips and cash out our first support and resistance line. So guess what? We know we had a blue line cross over the red and the downward momentum, right? We know that, right? We didn't get time frame confluence till we got over here. We didn't have it over there. So we're gonna stay on this side of that trend line. So looking at that, we started here, right? The crossed over here, but we didn't get it. Didn't, we didn't get the momentum to go with it till here. And this is where we had our time frame confluence. And if I drop down, I can tell you, guarantee you that's still selling. That's what it's doing. So here, right, when you look here, you got your 10 pips and cash out or your first support and resistance line. That's ultimately what you received. That's what you got right there. That was 18 pips. So you walked out and you already profited. Like you're already in money. You already profited. You already were able. And so you know that, but I still have to wait on my higher time frames to get an alignment to be able to ride out these three take profits right you and then you always want to you you have to be on the higher time frames to get an alignment so for my ones that are just doing 10 pips you see you guys already had a trade so now look at what's happening here we go blue line cross over the red and the downward momentum okay i have a red candle with a flat top and my piece are flipped to the top i'm gonna just do this for the sake of you guys seeing it okay so you see that this is where we're at. Live trade right here, right? Come up to my hour. I Do I have confluence? Somebody, anybody, everybody don't speak at once. Do I have confluence? All right. No confluence. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So will I take the trade? Do I even need to go down to the five minute right now? Do I even need to check the five? Exactly. I know that at this current moment, I do not have a trade. I do not have confluence. So now here we are, it's coming though. So you see how this has been kind of hanging around? It's been hanging around this zone. It's been hanging around this area. So what we know is that this is going to happen. Like it's, it's going to happen, but you just have to wait. The rejection is here, it's happening. We already know we had a nice trade that we could have took. So now we're just waiting, okay? We're just waiting, patience, patience, profit. Look at my 30 minute. It's rejecting, but my stochastic straight up. It's coming, I promise it's coming. Questions, comments, testimonies. So let's see how much this could actually bring you, right? Actually, I gotta squinch, squinch the charts back up, right? We gotta squinch them up. So from here to here, so that means that we had a potential of 70 pips. The PSR is telling you not to 15. No, on a 15 minute chart, I had a PSR flip, right? I had the PSR flip on a 15. The PSR, let's zoom back in. Let's zoom back in. See my, it's way up here. Probably cause this is so, let's, let's, let's lighten this up. Let's make it a little bit more transparent. All right, you see it? You see my piece art right here? And that's a nice strong piece art flip too. That's a strong piece art flip. That's a strong piece art flip. Look at how far up that went. But I do not have confluence. My stochastic was, was going down, but now it's looking like it's about the flat line. So patience, patience, profit. Patience, patience, profit. But guess what? I'm telling you now, and so I know somebody asked earlier this week about um, stop orders. When you understand these supportive resistance lines, then you know where to put them. You know where to put them. You know where to put them. And then I want you guys to get in the habit, okay? Squinching up your charts. If I, and yes, I said squinch up. I did. I said squinch up. I know. So I, I, that's, I know you didn't see it. I know you didn't see it. That's why I made it more transparent. I, I know you didn't see it. Because, I mean, it kind of blended in and it was kind of, 
But I say that because when you're trading, I want you to think about it. Like, I really want you to think that, you know, what I said about the squinching, you know, I want you to think and hear, why can't, because you got to squinch up the charts to see the market, right? You got to, you, you got to, you have to squinch up the charts to actually see the market. So I just want you guys to understand that, okay? We have to do that. Now, but when I'm trading, I want to be zoomed in. So that's why we make it look color, color bookish. I can't start from a color book. You know, I like, I like clean charts. But as we build on top of the charts, you know, when you start zooming in, I need to know where that information is at. Like, I need to know where that is, right? And so, guys, I'm going to tell you now, like, I need to know this. Like, I need to see this, right? I have to be able to see this. But now I wouldn't know where to stop because I can't see the big picture of the market. Like, I just can't see it. So I have to zoom in the trade. I zoom out to see. I zoom in the trade to see click with more clarity in, and I zoom out to trade. So what we're going to be doing, right, next, this, this coming week, as you can see, we're going to keep building on this. We're going to use these tools, right? We're going to use these tools. We're going to, you guys are, you guys are walking. I mean, okay, accuracy rate. Since we've been doing this, accuracy rate. Where are accuracies? Have they increased? I just saw 100% in the chat. I just saw 100% accuracy in the chat this week. I saw somebody get their first $1,000 day this week, right? Um, you know, I, I saw, what do we do? $100 days at a minimum, you know, this week. So, are you know what's everybody else's story what's everybody else's testimony you know what is yours so what is yours how is your trading life going can you see the market now do you guys understand why the education is so important i'm asking a lot of questions at once and nobody's responding now i'm just messing with you guys i know the chat is slow but you know can you guys see why it's so important for you all to really hone in and have the skill set when you have this skill set, nobody can take it. Look at you, 777 today. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm going to stop and celebrate for you, right? Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you. So, but you understand like this skill set, you have it and nobody can take it from you. Anytime you need something, you just get your BYOB, right? A PIN number is four, four letters, or well, it's really four numbers, but we're going to BYOB it, right? So BYOB cash out is the pin in the market is your personal ATM. So anytime you need something, you're just going to walk up and go get it. And you're going to pull it out. And that's what we are. Questions, comments, testimonies. I see you talking about some. Yes, yes, yes. Educate me. Questions, comments, testimonies. You guys are empowered and empowered people empower people. And so, like I said, we're just going to keep doing it and 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 all of you are i'm telling you now we this worldwide impact this worldwide impact this world and look at you cashing out on the call <laughs> i love it so i always think it's confusing but learning the steps step by step pays off so you're absolutely correct but i'm a I'm going to shift. Before I transition this call, we're going to talk about that word confusing. And I'm going to ask the same question I asked earlier. Can you drive? Can you drive? Yes, you can drive. So do you realize that driving is the, probably the most difficult and most dangerous thing you'll ever do in your life? Right? Do you realize that? So when we started learning, that's the, a car is about 3,000 pounds. How fast do you go down the street? You know, what are we doing? You're operating the gas, the brake, right? Think about the coordination that has to go in today. The gas, the brake, the, the steering wheel. You know, I learned how to drive on a stick shift. So the, the, the transmission, right? Just think about all of those things that go into place while you're driving, having to pay attention to the cars around you. All of those things that you have to do. And yet when you learn how to drive, you had to start in the middle of a big old parking lot and you know, or somewhere where nobody else was around you because you couldn't handle that piece of machinery. But yet we were literally come through with the with the name Tasha. Come through. I see you. Yes. Now we were literally, right? We were lit. Look, we got a new candle. See? Now we get starting to get confluence. Y'all see that? Let me stay on my story real quick. So 
But the reality is, is, is now we're not parallel parking yet. That's when we start doing fibs and all that other stuff. But I'm talking about when you got started, when you got started, when you got started, you couldn't do it. Everybody in the car had whiplash. Did you, but you had to, how did you now know how to brake without everybody getting whiplash? You had to get in the car and drive it. You have to get in the market and trade it. And it's gonna be so clear, but I need you guys to approach this, release the word confusing, approach this from the thought and the mindset of, I got this. How eager were we to learn how to drive? How eager were we to do those things, okay? I need for you guys to really approach it from that perspective, right? So, all right, so now I'm gonna transition this call, but I want you to approach it with that same energy and make sure you grab that trade. But I want you guys to approach it with the same energy, the same thoughts, the same mind, the same heart that you did, because now you drive cross country and all the way around. But yet, you know, that's where you are. Awesome. I like the way you teach. Absolutely. So awesome. So right now, guys, what I'm going to do is we're actually going to go ahead. It's time to transition.